Tonight, East Texans are in shock after learning about a tragic death involving a newborn just a couple of days old. The infant's mom facing charges tonight. It's stories like these that are hard for people, especially parents, to process. And law enforcement officials say they have a hard time processing as well. Our Jesus Martinez joins us in studio with more on this. Jesus, you spoke to a neighbor who says that he's shocked that something like this could happen in just a few feet away from his home. Hey, good evening, guys. And yeah, that's right. The neighbor I spoke to says he's still trying to wrap his head around how someone can treat an infant like this. And we do want to warn you at home that the details in the story are graphic. Jose Rodriguez was returning from work Wednesday night when he saw police surrounding his home on Highway 69 just a couple miles north of Lindale. I thought it was strange because this neighborhood is really calm and violence doesn't really happen here. The Smith County Sheriff's Office says they got a call of a newborn baby found dead at the location. When they arrived on location, they were um, escorted to a uh, like a mop bucket in the back of the, at the back yard of this uh, trailer and uh, when they looked in the mop bucket, uncovered the, the bucket, there was a, a, a child, a, a newborn infant wrapped in a, in a towel. The Smith County Sheriff's Office later identified the mother of that infant as 32-year-old Jaslyn Cooper Holmes. She told officials she had the child on Sunday, March 12th, and admitted to wrapping the infant in a brown towel, placing the infant in a red bucket, and putting the bucket outside behind the residence. You know, you see things like this from time to time. They're very rare and they're very, very disheartening. That any time a deputy, police officer, investigator, they work a case involving an infant or a child, that stays with them for the rest of their life. They don't forget it. For deputies, it was a very distressing scene to respond to. You know, it, it's, um, it's one of those things that just about everybody's been there and done that when you've been here after a certain amount of time and when you just run it by each other and you talk about it, it just seems to kind of take the edge off of it somewhat. People living nearby still on edge, knowing something so tragic happened right on their street. We've seen other crimes that have happened, but nothing like this. It seems very inhumane. It's still unclear whether the baby was stillborn or if the baby was born and died after birth. We're still waiting on that result from the autopsy that will reveal more information. For now, back to you.